Geminis, welcome aboard. Welcome to your timeless reading. This is for Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, or Jupiter placements. All right. Please hit that like button, subscribe if you haven't, and welcome aboard to my new subscribers. Thank you guys for all your love and support, your messages, and your donations. Energies can be interchangeable, vice versa here. What doesn't resonate for you can or, and will resonate for someone else. Please keep that in mind. Do not make a message fit if you feel that it's going off course for you. It just means it's not your message. So Geminis, I just did Taurus and took a break to go um, check my laundry and went outside and did some grounding. And when I was coming back upstairs, I found the feather. Okay? So it's funny, you know, your air sign, and I find this feather. Feathers signify to create your own destiny, right? Angels want you to feel love and supported at this time and to be brave at this time and put your fears behind you. Um, they also symbolize, feathers also symbolize um, honor, trust, strength, wisdom, power, and freedom. Okay? Moving beyond your mental barriers and limitations to see the larger picture and understand what really matters. They also symbolize hope, love, balance, and energy. So I feel like um, your angels are wanting you to know that they celebrate you, they support you, they love you, and not to be fearful of your next move. To take it with, you know, with courage, set all your fears and limitations aside, and to just go for something that you're feeling intuitively that you should go after. This could be in love, this could be in career, whatever comes up for you. This could be in family, in a specific project, this could be moving somewhere else, or taking a whole career somewhere else, um, or, you know, moving for career or for love. So take, take take that message how it resonates for you. Okay. But there's hope. Something about your energy. And also I'm getting like seeing things like soaring above the trees. I'm not sure what kind of bird this feather is from. Um, because that does matter as well as far as the message. I'm not sure. It's like a brown tan with white. I'm not sure. I think it's one of those, um, what do you call those? They look like doves, but they're brown and they have some white on them. I know what they call them in Spanish, but I'm not sure what if they call them. Yeah, I'm not sure. You guys can put it in the comments. If you recognize that feather okay let me know let me know all right so let's get to it Gemini's what is going on for you okay two more shuffles spirit what's going on for Gemini's what are you guys embarking in here Whatever it is sounds good and you are supported by your spirit team. And I'm not a Gemini, but I'll take that message as well for myself as far as the feather is concerned. But let's see what's going on when it comes to you guys. Fairy of the Divine Hand. Intoxication, distorted view, and overindulgence. Wow, two, duality. Okay, that's kind of your number there. Not to say that you're in this energy. Could be someone around you, or this is something you were in a while back. Okay. Intoxication, distorted view, and overindulgence. And this person has two different eye colors. For somebody here, you could have two different eye colors. I had an um, 
I guess it's a great a great aunt that had a, a blue eye and a green eye. This one has a hazel eye and a like a blue green eye. That could be significant for some of you. Some of you, you could have a pet that has two different eye colors. But fairy of the divine hand. And you see the divine hand has an eye, so it's seeing things definitely. That could be the mental limitations, something that was um, needing to detoxify. This could be overindulgence with food, alcohol, um, social media, technology. This could be any kind of um, anything that you're doing too much of that is distorting your view and perception of, of something around you or where to move forward. Okay. And again, if it's not you, it could be someone you're in connection to. So let's see what else we have here. Yeah, we have pets. Getting a new pet or giving a pet more love. So maybe maybe some of you have a pet even that's not eating healthy. Okay, I'm sure there's more to the story than that. But um, that could be um, a significant clue for someone as to why this would be a reading as well and we have gold digger this came out for Taurus so they want your money and being used okay so this person could be toxic and the divine hand is allowing you to see something for what it is okay because somebody could have had you in a lower vibration or somebody you're in connection to there was somebody surrounding someone that was not um, good. And I'm getting that this is not a good pet owner also. Or they're not, they weren't being good to your pet. Or they give your pet like things that are not good for them. Overindulgence though. Maybe a pet is missing love. I feel like a pet is not in the right environment here is what I'm getting okay let's continue here e eclipse mermaid a powerful energy shift number 10 so something could have ended here around February total eclipse of the heart is what I'm getting with that wow so total eclipse of the heart okay this is giving me like you went through a whole like emotional situation where you had to go and learn something from whoever this person is. You had a total eclipse of the heart. So something is coming into balance now with number two here. 14 and 10 could be significant, but this was a challenge. Yeah, glamour, intrigue, and drama. I think Aries was it that had this card? Some of you could be dealing with an Aries. Ghost people. This could be somebody that likes to ghost people also. Somebody like, I feel like somebody was like stringing someone, someone along is what I'm getting here. Not a good energy. So this person is low vibrational. They're, they got some sort of um, addictions or something. It's the gold digger. Yeah, narcissist with vacation. Someone is too full of themselves. You will be traveling soon. Mm -hmm. This person could be traveling with a pet that they don't really show too much love to. Yeah, we got love spell here. You've been bewitched. Oh boy, patience, just a few more months, good things come to those who wait. So if this is somebody in connection to you, Spirit is saying be patient here, because somebody's figuring something out. Oh, and why did I take, why did I shuffle that? Yeah, commitment, things are getting serious. Distance, you and your partner may be physically or emotionally distant with caution. Okay, give it time. Everything in divine timing, let things flow. I guess that's why I had to do that. So whoever you're connecting to, 
um, is at a distance from you. There is some sort of like distance like road trip or through plane and there is something coming to fruition but somebody's being cautious because there's somebody in their energy here that's toxic and they're seeing this person for who they are so they could be going through an awakening or you are awakening to the bullshit is what I heard okay doesn't have to be a spiritual awakening it could be just awakening to what's surrounding you who's surrounding you okay let's see what else we got here yeah there's a message of concern here it could be about this pet also you gotta be careful when you leave your your children and your pets around because I feel like somebody here don't give a fuck mm -mm -mm. they sure don't official person 222 two, two here 27 unexpected income adding up to 9 so something is being manifested main female another 2 wow there's a lot of 2's here and the divine is here in the mix with the 7 25 adding up to 7 high honor imprisonment at the bottom of the deck what is this thief somebody's oh somebody could have stole something at a house here maybe from a mature woman whoever this is yeah somebody thinks somebody has some sort of great fortune and is planning on stealing something or this happened already they're going to jail if that's the case it doesn't have to be like they physically went to your house to steal something they could have did it through other means and you did not know about it okay somebody's stealing here oh this could be a lover okay so damn somebody whoever this gold digger is they could have went to um, whoever was with this person they could have went to their person's house mother's house and stole something I'm hearing klepto this person just steals because that's what they know how to do they steal no matter how big or small yeah mature man mature woman okay so this is a connection that's coming together but so maybe somebody's trying to steal a house or something from a house that they're going to jail for because we have a gold digger here so there's definitely somebody trying to steal something but they could be going to jail that's what I'm getting yeah despair with the death card and journey this this connection is done it's over with message of concern pathway wealthy man courtship distant horizon huh. yeah I'm getting crocodile tears for this whoever this gold digger is because this person is done they want to move forward into some sort of pathway with someone else somebody knows they know let's see what else is going on here somebody trying to get that money gotta get that mm, boom 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 gotta get that mm, mm, mm. Okay, <laughs> if that's significant to you, you know, more power to you there, Gemini, that song. Gotta get that poom poom pow. Da, 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 da. <laughs> I don't know what that's about. All right, let's see what's going on here. Robbery. Damn, this person really adamant about stealing from this person. Wow, maybe somebody stole a dog here. Sweet dreams. Yeah, this could have been while they were sleeping. Something unexpected here. Illness. So this main female is sick. Maybe that's why they're upset. Found out some news. <sighs> gift. Somebody could want to gift you something here. They hold you in high honor. 
But we have Gold Digger with Gift. Hmm. Souvenir. Promotion. Delight. We have Coach. In endorsement. Persuasion, Bribe, and Temptation. Somebody's trying to bribe somebody here. Okay, somebody's been somebody's like puppet on a string. Somebody's trying to bribe someone. This could be a coach or they're going trying to go up against a coach or mentor or something. We have aid here. Mercy, charity, and kindness. Yeah, bully. Somebody's trying to steal what's meant for a mature woman and a mature man. The spirit is coming to your aid if you've been like bullied by these people. Maybe you've been like, maybe some things were going on behind your back you didn't know of, Gemini. You were like busy teaching and doing your thing or, you know, like, I don't know, some of you could be teachers, some of you could be like um, advisors, mentors, or you teach about something online you could have like you could make courses or something like that ebooks or something like that it doesn't have to be but i don't know maybe somebody was just learning from you something i'm also getting this maybe somebody is like stealing information to use it for their benefit and they're trying to bribe somebody Yeah, I feel like you're calm. You have hope for the future. You're just going with the flow. You have goals. I feel like you're exploring yourself and what you can manifest here. And people are like falsely accusing you of things behind your back. And trying to bend someone to their will to go up against you as well. But it's not working. Yeah, there's some sort of promise. Somebody made a promise to someone that was doing magic to cause some sort of accident. This came out again. Yeah, with imagination. This came out again. Where, where was it? Taurus? Or Aries? Huh. Anyways, let's keep moving forward here. What else spirit is going on here? Yeah, I see the chariot and the two of cups, so something is moving forward, regardless of what this person is trying to do here, or has been trying to do. I saw heavy cancer energy. Zodiac sign. King of Pentacles, so definitely some of you could have like Earth on your chart, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, or you could be dealing with a Taurus. Ace of Wands. Ooh, somebody could be dreaming about somebody here. Sexually. Two of Pentacles. Three of Cups. Yeah, I feel like this is spirit. I feel like somebody tried to take what was meant for you. And it was this gold digger. They want your money being used. But this was meant for somebody else. And I feel like spirit is setting something straight. 36 could be significant here. It's adding up to 9. Then we have 35. We have 39. And something came full circle with number 12. Yeah, full circle in the world. Okay. Nine of Pentacles.
Somebody could be away from their pet because they're traveling. And I feel like while they're traveling, somebody's trying to take something. I keep hearing somebody's pet could be stolen or something like that. Somebody's single here. Nine of Pentacles, Ace of Wands, Sweet Dreams. I'm seeing like self-pleasure here. The Death card with the Two of Pentacles. That's the end of juggling another situation. It's a death of a situation, death and rebirth. Also, I don't know what's going on with this main female, but something... The Magician with the Three of Cups. Hmm. Yeah, this is a manifestation that's meant for you. I feel like Spirit's going to be celebrating. But some gold digger tried to take this from you. It was meant for you. It's like somebody knew something, though. Maybe they got readings done and, and kind of had a, a back... A back... Um, background feel about what was transpiring in your lives somebody strategic as F the world the death card and the magician that's the end of somebody being single here but it's the end of something here definitely the end of this connection Knight of Pentacles, Three of Pentacles, Eight of Swords. So someone hesitates here, even though they're very attracted to someone they admire. Queen of Wands with the Six of Wands. They want to give to this person. It's weighing heavy on them. And that's justice. But maybe somebody's being logical here at this time. They're thinking about, they're, you know, they got a rebellious mindset is what I'm getting here. And that's why they went this way in the first place. They could have went for somebody younger, is what I'm getting, with the Two of Wands and the Page of Wands. Or somebody they felt they had a lot of chemistry with, and they ended up regretting it with the Five of Cups. Right? They dug their heels in when it came to you, because this connection gives them fear, because they've been wounded emotionally before. That's why, even though they admire you, they wanted to give to the situation... They didn't. They depleted you, right? They left you depleted because they didn't make this choice. If that makes any sense. At least that's how spirit sees it. You know what I mean? So they gave to the heavy burden. That was a lesson. Yeah, four pentacles. They held back. Strength card. And it took a lot of strength for this person to hold back. Yeah, especially this passion that they felt for you. They had to learn and see things from a higher perspective with the hangman before making a choice and decision. They were also being lied to, manipulated here. Ace of Cups. Again, they could have been um, indulging here. I see it here. With a liar... Again, I'm getting somebody that does, like, blood magic or something weird. And spirit moved you forward. They didn't want you to be in this mess. Yeah. Ace of Cups. With soulmate energy. Six of Cups and the Queen of Swords. With the Emperor. And the Chariot. With the Moon. Mm-hmm. Ah, oh, Gemini, there's a lot going on here. Some of you, you know, you're having something unexpected being gifted to you, okay, that you, it's worth celebrating. Whatever this gold digger tried to take from you, Spirit is giving it back to you in whichever way that makes sense. So it doesn't even have to be through the same person that you were meant to meet. It could be through someone else, okay? So, if you were meant to have something with someone, but this person is in an energy of toxicity with someone that's not good for them, then spirit will replenish whatever was meant for you to have with that person, and you'll have it with someone else. Because we have the world, the nine of pentacles, the death card, and the magician. You may be manifesting another soulmate here with the death and the magician. And... 
you're having sweet dreams here and something unexpected is coming into your life okay I don't really know what's going on with this thief robbery with this king of pentacles in the world an official person let's see I don't know they may be just as guilty as that gold digger let's see Somebody rejected a DNA test. Ooh. Huh. If that if that don't scream guilty, I don't know what does. Why are you gonna reject the DNA test? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? If you ain't guilty. Witchy vibes. I knew it. And you could kind of see that here. She looks like she's doing something. She or he. This is your true love. So you're dreaming about someone here with the Ace of Wands. Something is being confirmed here. But I feel like this is someone unexpected. I just feel like some spirit is about to throw something in to just reiterate this whole thing. Like Spirit is about to show you something here that you're manifesting because you're held in high honor. And gold digger, this could be a male. So be careful for people watching what you're manifesting here as well. Yeah, something about an earth sign here could be sick. Two of pentacles. This person was, could have been juggling between you and, and whoever they were married to or in a relationship with or giving everything to, but they were toxic. I don't like that illness and death is here. Hmm. Feeling triggered. Yeah, this gold digger is triggered because you are getting something. That's what it is. They don't want you to have something. Yeah, this is your true love, earth sign with feeling triggered and witchy vibes. So somebody's doing witchy shit so that you don't get anything. But spirit is going to give it to you anyways because they don't rule spirit. I don't know who this person is, but boy, she's entitled. Yeah, don't listen to the naysayers. <laughs> there could have been people saying that you were witchy or doing some shit. These people are naysayers. Plants dismantled. Yeah, with your true love. Because of this this gold digger. Undeniable truth. Earth sign. So clearly there's something they can't deny here. That's why it's over. It's what I'm getting. Trustworthy. Yeah, you're trustworthy and you're meant for something. So this person could even want to give you something and they know about it. But for some of you, it doesn't matter what this, this person does to go against you. You're going to manifest something regardless. Something they can't manifest on their own in the right way. They manifest temporary victories. Yeah, something was done last year. By a frenemy or foe. I was just going to say, this could even be somebody around you that always tries to like take your man or something. Because they are, feel like they're in competition with you giving you the evil eye because somebody is very interested in you yeah prophetic dreams here earth angel recognition and opportunity yeah this could even be an opportunity go after your dreams that's what the spirit was saying with the feather okay so you you have prophetic dreams about this or something you're getting answers in your dreams about whoever this is this connection we have love affair within six months future energy short-lived i believe in you i'm coming to see you so 
So this person could have been having a love affair. Or could be having a love affair right now. Because this person is coming to see you. They believe in you. And there's a lot of gossip and drama here. Past energy. Baby mama. Narcissistic. Wow. Wow. So that's why this person is rejecting a DNA test. And it's because it's probably not theirs. They're narcissistic. So you know narcissists cheat. That's just... Any anytime you hear the word narcissist, you know that that person is a cheater. Okay, long term, high vibration, divine feminine, divinely protected, marriage proposal. Wow, within a month. Aunt, this could be what this is. You're manifesting this person coming to you. They see you as trustworthy. This person is hell bent on um lying on you making you look some type of way but this person is seeing things for what it is undeniable truth they can't deny who they've been you know sleeping with this whole time being around with this person's a thief a liar a deceiver Tell me about this gift, spirit. The hermit. Yeah, you could be really wise. You have prophetic dreams, so this person could be triggered because you have prophetic dreams. You're you're you have some sort of psychic ability or something where you can see what's happening around this person because you're the divine feminine. You're connected to this masculine. Six of Cups, Past Life, Ace of Pentacles, there's the gift. You have a gift, and your person is coming to bring you something, but it's taking away from this person that has nothing, Five of Pentacles, because they're a gold digger, and a liar, see, and a thief. Yep, she was holding this coin that was meant for you. It wasn't meant for her or him. Yeah, they're under judgment. Yeah, this person is off balance with the temperance and the hangman. Yeah, this person's walking away and not giving to the situation anymore. Moving forward. Five of swords. Yeah, this person's jealous over this. This snake. Yeah, two of wands with the knight of cups. Yeah, this person's doing something in secret. They feel like they, like, yeah, King of Pentacles with the Ten of Pentacles with Gold Digger. So they got with somebody with money, clearly. The star. This person could even be in the public eye. This person does confusion stuff to hold people back with the High Priestess. The High Priestess in reverse. Could be a Libra or Pisces here. So this person doesn't walk away and move forward. Tell me more about the Six of Cups, the Hermit. The Moon. Yeah, Two of Cups. It's a past life connection that's being kept in secret. You guys are astral traveling also to each other. Yeah, you're single here. Yeah, you're manifesting this with the Magician, the Queen of Swords, and the Queen of Cups. The Emperor. So I was getting like couple stories here. What is this King of Pentacles doing here? Page of Cups. Okay, so this could be somebody crushing on you, liking you, or wanting to apologize. Yeah. Four of Wands. 
yeah, this is yeah, this is somebody that has feelings for you. They see you as their person. Their divine feminine or divine masculine. But they had a tough time making some sort of choice. But there's the world. They could have been blocking this out because they didn't want to emotionally go there. Eight of Cups, Six of Pentacles. Yeah, they walked away from the gift. They listened to the naysayers. Because somebody said you, you put a spell on them or something. And you had to move forward here. While they were stuck analyzing the situation. Off balance, going through judgment with a gold digger. A liar. A deceiver. Yeah. Huh. So, what's coming... Plans dismantle with this is your true love. So, what's unexpected here? Something else. Something else coming in, Gemini. I don't know. I feel both people are going to come in, but now you have another choice. Like I said, spirit is replacing something with something else. Yeah, three of pentacles. Four of cups. Something unexpected. That's that cup that comes out of the sky. Yep. With the sun, something that's going to make you very happy. Something you could have been dreaming about this already. There's a hold up here. What is the hold up? Ooh, King of Wands and Queen of Wands. Oof. With the Ace of Wands, that's passion. And the star. This is sexual healing. What's the hold back? Hold back here. This is a dream connection. Maybe somebody is um, just like they just got out of something and moving forward. Six of Wands. Something's coming in fast though. Okay, but you're both single, whoever this is. And there's the King of Cups. And the Queen of Cups. Wow, love and passion. With the Emperor. Huh. So whatever this person didn't want and rejected for a gold digger, because he walked away. Even though he felt, he liked what he saw and he felt like they had, this could have been a twin. And maybe you're meeting a high level soulmate. But this gold digger is feeling triggered because you are trustworthy and you're getting something here. So even if it's not, even if she doesn't stay with this person because this person is seeing them for who they are. They don't want you to be with this person. But either way you're going to be with someone else if you so choose to. And they're going to feel triggered because you're manifesting things into your life. This person feels like they're in competition with you. I don't know if you know this gold digger. But it's like you manifest good things and they try to steal it from you. All the time. Whoever this is. Yeah. They always want you to be like that. Tell me about the moon. Five of cups. Somebody's suffering in silence. Or they will be because ten of cups. They didn't have the strength, maybe, to get out of this toxicity. I don't know. Yeah, the Hierophant. This could also be their traditional values. I don't know. Something's keeping this person bound to a situation. Even though, look at what they see. The sun with the Ten of Pentacles. Something is not right with the Seven of Cups and the High Priestess. With Justice being here. Maybe this person also, like, at some point did some kind of magic with this person. I don't know. But whatever spirits bring into you is meant for you. Alright, uh, Gemini, I'm going to leave it there.
it's a little choppy, but it's because there's new things coming into your life. Whoever this is, it's unexpected. And whoever, I feel like this was a twin that was with a gold digger, they walked away from this gift that was being shown to them, given to them. They listened to the naysayers. Somebody was saying you were you put them on a spell or something and you're actually their twin. So you're not it's not a fucking spell. And they're in a, I don't know what's going on with that gold digger, but they're seeing it for what it is. That's over with with the death card. This person could have mental health issues or they're sick or something. Whatever they were doing against you, I feel like it's backfiring coming back onto them. So, whatever that is, I don't know. These naysayers dismantled this, this, them coming to you, and now they understand that you were trustworthy the whole time. The person that wasn't trustworthy was the person they were sleeping with. So, plans dismantled, now there's somebody else coming into your life. 41.44 on the clock. There you go. 144. All right, guys. That's what I have. Let me know in the comments if anybody resonates. I wish you the best. And I'll talk to you later. Peace.